Hello everyone and welcome to Home Bucks Frappe Cafe. I will be your barista, my name is Hannah, and today we are going to be making the pumpkin spice frappuccino. Classic October and November fall beverage, people love it. There's the pumpkin spice latte, but today we're going to be focusing on the pumpkin spice frappuccino. So in Starbucks, the pumpkin spice frappuccino is made with whole milk, pumpkin spice syrup, coffee base, a little bit of pumpkin spice on top, and then frap roast. So for today, you're going to need a stove top, a espresso machine is optional, but you will need a blender. So let's get into the ingredients that we're gonna be using today. The first thing you will have to make pumpkin spice syrup. Unfortunately, putting pumpkin spice in your drink is not gonna have the same effect as making a pumpkin spice syrup. Uh, this is just gonna make it very grainy. You're not gonna be able, it, you'll, you'll taste the pumpkin spice, but it's going to leave like particles in your mouth. So I will now show you how to make the pumpkin spice syrup to the stove. To make this syrup, combine one cup water and one cup of brown sugar over a boil, whisking occasionally. After seven to eight minutes, add two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice and leave it to simmer until it's mostly dissolved. Let the mixture cool before adding it to your drink and put it in the fridge for it to last for two weeks. Now that you have made your very own pumpkin spice syrup, I will go over the rest of the ingredients. For the espresso, I will be using Cafe Bustello, but as I stated, espresso is optional. If you don't have a machine or you just don't like the taste of espresso, you could omit it entirely. Or you could get instant coffee and you put about half, a little more than half if you like coffee, you can really do it to your, your tastes. Next, a cup of ice. The Starbucks Frappuccinos are very universal, so whatever cup you plan on putting your drink in, go ahead and fill it with ice. You're gonna use a little bit of vanilla syrup, not a lot, and that's mostly just for flavor. You don't have to use it. Xanthan gum is gonna keep your Frappuccino blended and it won't melt or separate. Next, extra creamy whipped cream, just like Starbucks has, and whole milk. For the blender, I'll be using a Nutribullet, but you can use anything that will tear up ice. So, starting to drink, you're gonna go ahead and fill it up to the ice line. So like I said, Starbucks Frappuccinos are very universal. You don't have to do exact measurements and you can also do it to your personal tastes. Next up, I'm gonna add just a little bit of vanilla. It's, it's up to you how much you want to add. I'm gonna do less than a pump. Like at Starbucks, that would be less than a pump. Next, you're gonna take your xanthan gum. This, you do not need a lot of. So, like I said, this is the, what keeps your frappuccino sticking together. It's super powerful, and you're gonna use less than half a spoonful. Pop it on. Next, our pumpkin spice mixture. I'm going to use this tablespoon measuring cup, measuring spoon. I know it's liquid, but so the pumpkin spice mixture is another thing you can add to flavor. So if you're going to use instant coffee or you're not going to put any coffee in there at all, you can go ahead and blend it or you can add your instant coffee. 
and I'm going to be adding espresso, so I'm going to go make my espresso. Keep in mind, espresso is optional, but it definitely tastes better than instant coffee. Alright, now that I have my espresso, I'm going to go ahead and pour a little less than one shot in there, just because I don't want to have a super strong espresso flavor. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on. You are ready to blend. For the final touch, a dusting of pumpkin spice. Not too much. You want to avoid the grainy, like I said earlier. All right. And now, for the moment of truth. Exactly like one. It's the perfect texture. It's the perfect amount of pumpkin. It's not too pumpkin-y. And it's definitely not like too milky or too much espresso. I rate this a 10 out of 10. Hands down. This is literally the perfect dupe. It's the perfect dupe. I have to say it. It's the perfect dupe. spice frappuccino join us next week when we're gonna be making the java chip frappuccino remember no starbucks ingredients only stuff you can buy at walmart and food lion mm. 10 out of 10